Well, hello again, and welcome again to another podcast. Today, uh, we're going to be uh, on the final chapter of the book of Hebrews. And uh, uh, it's been a little while. It hasn't been a long time, but uh, uh, we went through the entire book, and we took it a chapter at a time. Uh, and I like doing that. Uh, it uh, really uh, let you kind of focus in on the chapter and think about it for the day. So with that said, uh, uh, let me just, our, our three subjects that we're going to be looking at is really the sacrificial uh, pleasing to God. You know, the, the sacrifice of Christ is really, really pre pleasing to God. And then we'll look at the benediction and then the final greeting. And this is not a real long chapter, so we'll just kind of zoom right through it, I believe. Well, today my uh, wallpaper came up, and it was the Tokyo Tower in Tokyo, Japan. And it was all lit up. And uh, again, those that are on my audio podcast, uh, you can just go to uh, Bing website. It's, uh, it's wallpapers uh, for uh, your computer and... Uh, it's uh, kind of nice. It changes your wallpaper every day, and you got something different to look at. You're not looking at the same thing all the time. So, well, with that said, let us uh, just finish our, our our chapter here and finish the book of Hebrews. So Hebrews 13, the first thing we look at is sacrifice pleasing to God. Uh, Christ's sacrifice, we know, is pleasing to God, but there's also other sacrifices that we make that are pleasing to God too. Let brotherly love continue. That's very important. God loves it when we show brotherly love. Let brotherly love continue. Do not neglect to show us uh, hospitably to strangers. In other words, be hospitable to them. And, uh, you know, we are to, and especially those in the household of God, that's what... Uh, we are instructed to do, for thereby some of you have entertained angels. Isn't that something? There's angels among us. There's no doubt in my mind. The scripture teaches it. Remember those who are in prison. Uh, at one time I had a jail ministry. Uh, and always remember those that are in prison, and especially in countries that they're in for their Christian beliefs. And those in prison with them, and those who are uh, mistreated uh, since you are also in the body. We're talking about brothers and sisters in the Lord here. Let marriage be held in honor among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled, for God will judge the sexual immorality and adulteresses. Keep your life free from love of money and be content with that, what, what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. So we cannot, uh, so we can confidently say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? Remember your leaders, those who speak to you the word of God. Consider the outcome of their ways, of their life, and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. I love that song. We sing it at the chapel, uh, and it's, it's a beautiful song. Do not be led away. Be uh, divided in, uh, uh, let's see, do not be led away by uh, diverse and strange teachings. For it is good for the heart to be strengthened by grace, not by food, which has no benefit uh, and benefits those to them. We have an altar from which those who serve the tent have no right to eat. For the body of those animals uh, whose blood is brought into the holy place by the high priest and sacrificed for sin, are burned outside the camp. So Jesus 
also suffered outside the gate in order to sanctify the people through his own blood. Therefore, let us go to him outside the camp and bear reproach and endure. For here we have no lasting city, but we seek a city that is to come. Through him, then, let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of our lips that uh, acknowledge his name. Do not neglect to go to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. Now, you know, when we talk about sacrifices, this is all the sacrifices that God requires of us, and he takes joy in them. Obey the, your leaders and submit to them, for they are keeping watch over your souls as those who will have to give an account. Let them do this with joy and not with groaning, for that would be no advantage to you. And then pray for us, uh, for we are sure that we have a clean conscience, desiring to act honorably in all things. I urge you the more eagerly to do this in order that I may be restored to you the sooner. Well, you know, there's disputes on the uh, uh, author of um, the book of Hebrews because it doesn't give us the author. And I don't get dogmatic about it. I don't say it for sure I'm right. Uh, but uh, my, you know, my beliefs and my inner feelings feel like this has been written by Paul. And, and one of the reasons is he mentions Timothy later on as we close. Now may the God of peace, who brought again from the dead the Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of an eternal covenant, equip you with everything good that you may do well, working in us which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom the glory forever and ever. Amen. And then he gives a little final greeting here. And this is what makes me think uh, of, of Paul, because he's the only one that I know that mentions Timothy. I appeal to you, brothers, bear with my words of exhortation, for I have written to you briefly. You should know that our brother Timothy has been released, with whom I shall see you if he comes soon. Greet all your leaders and all the saints. Those who come from Italy send you greetings. Grace be with you uh, all. Be with all of you. You know, the, this last final greeting here really, really shows me Paul. Uh, like I say, I don't get dogmatic about it. He talks about Timothy being released, and he talks about uh, the saints in Italy. And uh, Paul was in, in prison in Italy, and I believe Timothy was incarcerated there too for a time, but he was released. And when he was released, he came back. And the reason he probably was because he was friends with Paul. And not only friends, he was a brother, and, and he was also a spiritual son of Paul. Well, that's just my kind of my take on that last part. But uh, I hope you enjoyed going through the book of uh, Hebrews, and uh, I hope you gained some knowledge from it and really think about all the things that were said. And Jesus Christ is greater than everything. Everybody, everyone. That's because he was God in the flesh. Emmanuel, God with us. Praise God that he sent his son to be a propitiation for our sins. Big word, but it means a substitutional death. He took our place. He became sin for us that we may become the righteousness of God in him. Isn't that great? Well, I'm glad you went through the book with me, and let's just end our podcast today by saying God is out here. You can find him in your Bible. All you have to do is open it and look. He's there. Well, friends, 
I hope you enjoyed this uh, this uh, going through the book, this reading of uh, the book of Hebrews and kind of just gleaning what we could out of it. And I know that uh, if I go through it again, I'll find more. And every time I go through it, I find more. We find little jewels. This is like mining, but you got to dig deep to find the jewels. They're there. So pick up your Bible, read it, and uh, just keep going on for Christ. And just remember all the sacrifices uh, that are pleasing to God, as we read in this chapter. Well, with that said, I'm going to end my podcast. Have a great day. Lord bless.